an enormous heat haze rising up from the circuit. There's one minute to go. That board is showing the one-minute board. There are the World Championship positions, 15 points for a win. So even if Lucanelli scores no points, he will still be in the lead at the end of, the, at the end of this race because there is a 16-point gap between himself and Randy Mamala, the American young rider who is in second place. 20 laps then. 20, sorry, there are 28 laps and that's 82 miles over this circuit. Extremely hot. The man with the Union Jack who is going to start the race is standing in front of the riders. He's walking, starting to walk slowly back across the circuit now, up into the right, up into the starter's rostrum. All the riders are off their machines, most of them on the left-hand side to push. In fact, all of them, on, just one rider on the right-hand side of the machine to push. They're straining now, they've got the front brake on, they're leaning on the handlebars to get the weight pushing forward. The flag goes and away. Now, Crosby has got a superb start. <laughs> Graham Crosby in pole position and Freddie Spencer has got the Honda firing well and it's Kenny Roberts second, a very sheen third and Marco Lucinelli in fourth position. Number four is Crosby. Graham Crosby, the New Zealand rider on the work Suzuki, leads Kenny Roberts, the world champion, as they go round the left-hander at Maggots. Now up into sixth gear, down toward Beckett's, where they go right down through the gearbox into second. Over 8,000 RPM, round Beckett's, and it is Crosby leading Roberts, leading Sheen in third position. And in fourth position, it's Marco Lucanelli, and you see the back to the right and the left, and now they go down the hangar straight with Crosby, Roberts, Sheen, Lucanelli, Mamola, and then Port Ballington on the Kawasaki. From Stowe up to Club Corner. From Club up to Abbey. It's fifth gear and up to 135 miles an hour here. Now into top gear, nearly 150 miles an hour. Then they have to anchor up after Andy for Woodcote, the tremendously fast right-hander. No chicane for the motorcycles, unlike the car draw free. And it is Graham Crosby leading at the end of lap one with 27 laps to go. Kenny Roberts, Sheen is challenging Roberts. Then it's Lucanelli and behind Lucanelli, Mamola. And behind Mamala is Cork Ballington. And Lucinelli is starting to close on the three in front of him. Barry Sheen has had trouble with his tyres in a lot of races this year. There he is, the world champion of 1976 and 1977. For that peculiar riding stance of his caused by injuries that he had in Daytona many years ago. And it's still Crosby. Sheen in third position. The world champion, Kenny Roberts, in second place. Marco Lucinelli, the world championship leader, in fourth place. In the red helmet in the background is Randy Mamala. And Roberts leads. Kenny Roberts, then, who had trouble with his tyres. And more about this takes the lead. You notice that Kenny used every advantage from the slipstream there and was able to pull out and pass Graham Crosby just as entering the breaking point. This shows. So there you go, it's Kenny Roberts. Now, is this tremendously gritty New Zealander, Graham Crosby, who most of us had never heard of a couple of years ago, going to be able to challenge the reigning world champion? Kenny Roberts said to me, before he is, Roberts takes the lead again. Roberts goes into the lead at Woodcote. So, Crosby leads. Then Roberts, then Sheen, behind Sheen, Marco Lucinelli. All four together with Randy Mamala fifth. Well, these machines seem so evenly matched on power that this seems the name of the game. This slipstreaming and this taking the sort of corner, entering Woodcote. Keith Hewan, the man who did so well in the 350 race at the beginning of the afternoon, finishing in second place, is out of the 500 class already on his Suzuki. Hard luck, but Graham Crosby on his Suzuki is still very much in the running. Leading on lap three, number four, Graham Crosby. 
Robert Smith, Sheen third, number two, Marco Lucinelli fourth, number three, Randy Mamela is in fifth position, and off goes Graham Crosby, and past him goes Lucinelli, and that looks like Barry Sheen off as well, but was it? That's Crosby, he's, he's getting down behind the barrel, behind the hay bale, and immediately goes to the assistance of his fellow competitor, and I think Marco Lucinelli has got through, the yellow flags waving to warn the competitors behind them that somebody has come off. No, I think Lucanelli went as well, Mike. Here we go. Here's a replay. Let's have a look at it. Graham Here Crosby. Here we have. Watch Graham Crosby's rear wheel. He's still got control of the bike. He heels it right over. And away it goes. Completely lost adhesion, a great puff of rubber smoke. Down goes Crosby, he looks as though he's got his leg mostly clear. Through goes Roberts. So Roberts got through there anyway. And there's another machine, that's Barry Sheen coming into the picture, all doubled up. And past him, that's Marco Lucinelli. So Lucinelli keeps rolling. Graham Crosby is kicking the machine away from him. Barry Sheen is off. The race continues and it is now into lap four. And on lap four, the race order after this contretemps on the earlier lap at the, in the lead now is Randy Mamela. And in second position is Kenny Roberts and in third place, Cork Ballinger. And that's Marco Lucinelli, who is way down now, of course, because a lot of riders went past him. And you can see marshals in the background waving them down because they're coming up to the danger point. And look at Paul Ballington. Paul Ballington, in the green leathers, is coming up extremely well. In fact, Ballington is challenging now. Ballington is right up with the leaders. So it's Kenny Roberts leading as they come into Woodcote at the end of lap four. Kenny Roberts, lead, Kenny Roberts leading, then it's Mamela, Cork Ballington is in third position and Jack Middleburg, the Dutchman, is in fourth place. Well, Kenny Roberts going round the outside of Randy Mamela. I remind you that Lucinelli is out of the running. Barry Sheen is out. Graham Crosby is out. Drama right at the beginning of the British Grand Prix. But now, Kenny Roberts and Mamela and Cork Ballington and Jack Middleburg all virtually locked together and overlapping. And Freddie Spencer on the Honda is in fifth position. We'll be able to see the gap soon between these four. This is the battle for the lead, and this is lap five out of 28. And we've heard the news that Barry Sheen is up on his feet, and we believe that he is OK. Well, that was terrible luck for Barry. I think here, what happened was that they were so dicing into the corner, leaving their braking to the very latest point, that Crosby had to sort of try and tighten the corner, and when he went to apply the power, it was just a little too much angle on the machine, and as you see, he just ploughed the back wheel away. What was so disappointing was, of course, taking out Barry and... Uh, and Graham Crosby. Now, but this is tremendously interesting. In that fracas, Lucinelli went right down. These are the leaders. But Marco Lucinelli is now virtually last, and he is certainly out of the points. Now, not in my wildest imagination did I dream that Marco Lucinelli would be out of the top. There he is. There he is. OK, there is Marco Lucinelli. We just saw a flash of him. And here are the leaders coming up to Beckett's on lap 6 out of 28 in this already tremendously dramatic British Grand Prix. And the thing that I think is of tremendous significance as we look at Marco Lucinelli, who had to slow right down and go off the course in that uh, lap 3 falling of Sheen and Crosby.
and Roberts ready to go through. Roberts is leading now. Mamela is second. Paul Ballinger is going better at this Grand Prix than I've ever seen him go before. Well, talking to Cork in practice, he was very concerned about the anti-dive characteristics on the front of the Kawasaki. But it appears from this that he certainly made some improvements in that last practice. Paul Ballinger, that's the rider in the green leathers on the green mini Kawasaki. The highest placing that he's had in a Grand Prix so far this year is third in Holland. The Kawasaki was introduced last year, the 500, that's number nine that we're looking at now, and he's in third position on lap six, is being ridden by Cork Ballington, who is four times world champion in the 250 and 350 classes in 1978 and 79. But now into lap seven, Kenny Roberts, number one, the reigning world champion, leads fighting against Randy Mamela, who has now retaken the lead from Roberts, and Cork Ballington is not losing an inch on any of them. Interesting point watching Cork was the way he picked them up coming into Woodcote. The